Gogun throwing more hands than a disgruntled amputee denying prosthetics. Who want to go 12 rounds with the prince? Oh my I'm god. Go sleep. Fuck that! Duck and weaving, duck and weaving, King Kong in his head. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome back with another reaction video. Yes, this is from Chiseled Adonis, and we're going back to the Shadow Realm as well with this one. But this time it's with Street Beefs, Street Beef Scrapyard. Um, if you don't remember, I think I covered that like last, like three or four months ago probably five or six it's it's been like half it's been like a half a year you know half of a year that i had covered a couple of videos he did before with the street beefs and stuff like that but um yeah no further ado we're gonna get into this let's see what this is all about all right let's see my let's see up here my guy fair play again I, the video was initially about him the ones that I had there back then. So we're about to see what's about to go down with this. I knew he was going to be on one of the videos. All right, so boom, it's been a while. So it's only right that we take a step into the street beef strap yard and take a look at their top five knockouts. Up first, we got High Speed taking on Fair Play, who came out of retirement for this battle. <laughs> you missed me. Looks like Whoa. High Speed been studying. He's tapping the same buttons Fair Play is. Hiya! Oh, I missed. Coke and kick. Oh, shit. You're simply too weak for me. Ooh. My turn! Barely double. Come here! Inject those Cedo cards! Oh, He's okay. He's got evicted. Come here! Right. Finish him! Damn. Fair play fused this man's chin with his Adam's apple at high speed. Had man's fallen to the ground like a roach that got sprayed with raid. Converted that boy to Christianity. Look at him paying tribute to Jesus. Crucify that boy. Man's thought that weak two piece that ejected the mouthpiece was gonna oh, lead okay. him to victory. But all it did was activate Fair Play's Zenkai boost. Calcum punch. You know, fucked up. You know that, don't you? Die. Crack. Game oh, over. Texas Robocop versus Flex. Really? Excuse me, bitch. Something's wrong with Robocop's GPS. He can't yeah, I know. his target. To make matters worse, he doesn't know how to work the radio. Funk Flex is right in front of him, but he can't find Hot 97. Jesus Christ, son. You better get your ass serious. Finish him. I know. Oh, my God. That's called motherfucking bars. You know nothing about that. Funk Flex hit RoboCop with a right hand so hard he was seeing Clarence Bodica when he woke up. Look how. Man, how know are you going to name yourself RoboCop, but then your ass like just laid out with, with a quick punch. Like it don't make no sense at all. Limp his body went. Erectile dysfunction in a human form. Laid out like an unused nail clipper underneath your bed set. <laughs> At first, I thought Funk Flex's controller glitched, because why did his left arm just stay out there? Little did we know, it was the Genjutsu to catch RoboCop off guard. Frick. America's beverage companies are working together to deliver more great tasting options with less sugar or no sugar at all. In fact, ah. today, nearly 60% of beverages sold contain zero sugar. More choices, less sugar. BalanceUS.org rumor has it after this defeat looks like the government truly might defund the police robocop's not gonna have a pension to make matters worse his jaw might be wired shut how is he gonna eat his hello fresh and now a word from our sponsors. oh got wait Fish. a minute i know you've got new year's goals and hello fresh is here to help you achieve them skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes delivered right to your door hello fresh's festive fair collection features limited time recipes made with seasonal produce and premium protein so you can get out of the post-holiday slump with these elevated winter classics. They've got fast and fresh recipes featuring robust flavors and filling portions that are ready in less than 15 minutes. And with Hello Fresh. Go ahead and move on here with this Hello Fresh. Here we go. Next up, we got Seko taking oh, on Malik snap. Ogun. 
Malik Ogun looks like he uses his gym membership six times per day. And if he knows how to activate his dreadlock powers, Seko might be in trouble. I hope you black men were paying attention. What are you going to do now, big boy? Come here. Almighty push. Seko's glutes touch the ground, but I'm not sure if this would be counted as a knockdown one way or another. That brother getting pieced up. Malik Ogun throwing more hands than a disgruntled amputee denying prosthetics. Who want to go 12 rounds with the prince? Oh my god. Sleep for God! Duck and weaving, duck and weaving, King Kong in his head. Look at the face on. Oh my god. And see, it's a good thing I stopped right there. Okay, he already seen it coming. He seen it coming because he knew a fist gonna be going in his mouth. And he knew he had this one. He's like, yes. Like he was gonna be feeling good when he nailed him right on the nose. Right. Other than that, bro, like, why, why is these people not guarding? Like, it's like, I think he got like three shots. On Malik Ogun, if that's not the face of a brother who was built to knock a motherfucker out, I don't know what is. Seko, I know, right? Equilibrium. Look at his failure to get his hands up to react in time. Legend has Bam. his soul was trying to pull his ponytail to escape a fatality, but was too late. I call him Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. That brother free falling into the shadow realm on the mm -mm -mm. ground, looking like an unused action figure. Where the ambulance? Why the man body still the right man there? Be call the there. damn ambulance! Oh fuck it do it again okay. next up terrifier taking on brick house terrifier looks like an overweight anthony joshua and brick house looks like a discount top dollar from hit row in wwe nevertheless one of these heavyweights is going to sleep so far it appears that uh -oh. brick house has the edge two slip jabs got terrifier dancing but after he took off his tap shoes he learned tm31 <laughs> Brick break, down goes Brick House. Shades of wow. Mun Chan hit that brother square on the chin, put him straight to sleep. His face got hit so hard, his love handles twerked before Woo. he headed into the shadow realm. Mans fell down like Building 7 during the Bush administration. Terrifying Man. the factory reset button. Get customer service on the phone. That brother's gonna need an update. Call the ambulance, pick up the people. Yeah. And last but not least, D. Ellis takes on Vice Grip. In a battle between two senior citizens, 401ks and Roth IRAs are on the line. Winner gets to claim the loser's children on their tax return. <laughs> Vice Grip with the Ooh. first connection of the battle. D. Ellis would try to strike back with a series of civil right hands, but the blue eyes white privilege is too strong. Learn your history, boy. Once upon a time, Martin Luther King had a dream, but Vice Grip hasn't been asleep since 1957. D. Ellis throwing all kinds of hands, hoping one will connect. Why I oughta? Vice Grip sent D. Ellis to Ellis Island. That white fever. You thought the fight was over? D. Ellis as resilient as his ancestors. Throwing all kinds of civil rights and lefts. Vice Grip is getting tired. All I know is at the conclusion of this fight, both gentlemen gonna need a Sinzu bean or they might not see their grandchildren this Thanksgiving. Both gentlemen trying to get momentum to swing in their favor. Right hand from D. Ellis lands flush. Vice Grip is swinging, Anybody go but fall he's yet? Glove. The great white hope is tiring out. Ha! Big right hand from D. Ellis. Vice Grip's got him in a headlock. Foul, foul. Both gentlemen really? will have to reset, and we've reached the final period. Which grizzly vet will stand strong? It appears D. Ellis has activated his Zenkai boost. The longer the fight's gone on, the stronger he's gotten. He put his glove in his mouth. Vice Grip nearly deep-throated man's hands. Huge right hand from D. Ellis. Vice Grip is in danger. I guess not. Both men exchange strong right hands. The ref would have to separate them once more. Now for the finishing move. Unlock. Unlock. Some of them going to sleep. Fuck that! D. Ellis channeled his inner Dr. Umar Johnson, unlocked his superpowers, yeah, out. and hit Vice Grip with a left hand and sent that man straight into the afterlife. Get the caution tape and the chalk. Send that man to the mortician. Call a doctor. No, call a coroner. Old man got put to sleep from the east to, to the, the west. west. Back to the east. Back to the west. Where's Nurse Joy when you need him? Take that man to the Pokemon Center. He's gonna need a medic. Somebody please go to goddamn EMT. Got that jaw rock. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Man.
All them freaking knockouts, yo, for real. Should be a crime having all them skills in a small. I know he ain't got this. He ain't got that far. But, yeah. Other than that, I might go ahead and sign this off. And hopefully everybody is having a nice night, nice day, and have a nice morning. If you made it to this far, thank you very much. I'm humbly grateful that you are here amongst the channel. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to um, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Um... Make sure you are doing, you know, make sure you keep doing, um, doing this and then we're going to get the numbers rolling up and all that good stuff. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to sign this off and be sure to check out my gaming channel, uh, Wild Gaming, and I am out this thing. Peace.